Hello students, Namaskar, welcome to Career360. Most of you would have appeared for the NEET examination and would be waiting for a score. It is possibly one of the toughest examinations that happened as far as NEET is concerned over the past many many years. The physics paper is very very difficult. The chemistry was had a lot of concept uh, uh, you know issues and most importantly in biology examination the questions were lengthy and it required a lot more time so the time management became a massive massive issue in all these papers but having said that we all know that this time around all the experts are at, at one consensus that the scores this time would be much much lower than what it ever happened and the scores could be as low as about 10 to 15 percent as compared to the previous years and if you were to be looking at that number if you're looking at the kind of score deflation that will happen in all possibility your rank inflation also would be happening at the same time and two more importantly you should also know that this time the number of students who took the examination itself is lower with all those things what i want to show you now is at what rank so i'm not on i'm, I'm going to talk over score but i'll talk more about the rank because the difficulty level of the paper is exactly the same for every student so to that extent, the rank would always almost be maintained or in fact, actually it will have a better thing because the number of students who took the examination itself is lower this time. With that being the background, at what rank you like to get into a good government medical college is what I'm trying to explain. Right. And we'll go through every single data point that we have in terms of how many seats you have, how many are public, how many are private and what exactly is the rank that you would need to have to move on to the one of the better medical colleges in the country. Let me explain through only through data. So we're essentially dealing with the NEET 2025 counseling at this point in time. Now, over the years, if you notice very carefully, the number of students who were about 14 lakh who appeared for the examination in 2019, which is the first year when NTA actually conducted the NEET examination, NTA conducting NEET, it's now last year it became 23.33 lakh, which is about 9.23 lakh growth between five years. But this year it's going to be about 21 lakhs is the assumption, which means we are dealing with a minus 2.3 lakh, 2.23 lakh. This is plus 9.23 lakhs over the past five years. But this year, it's likely to see about 2 lakh kind of a negative trend. Now, which is about 10% fall in the number of students who took the examination. Now, that's a good thing because to that extent, the competition is 10% lesser for you people. Right? But that's what is likely to happen in the current year. Now, what are these students, the 21 lakh students who appeared for the examination? What are they competing for? That's the next big question. Now, in India, at this point in time, we have about 427 government medical colleges, 306 private medical colleges, and 47 deemed medical colleges. These deemed also are almost private. So, what we have is about 353 you know, private medical colleges and 427 government medical colleges. So, take it from that part. So, in all, we have about 780 medical colleges. But it's not just about the medical college. How many seats do they have? When you look at that, the government medical colleges have about 50.6% seats. And the private ones between the two have about 49%. 49.4%. Right. So treat it as that both government and private, na, you have almost 50-50 in terms of the number of seats that you have. And that is what you should be looking at. Now, why do we why is this important because private medical college education is almost unaffordable in this country you know the fee is about 20 lakh plus so people who can only afford to pay one crore and above can get into a private medical college so most of the competition of the 21 lakh students who appear for the examination for NEET are actually competing for the general quota and obc quota and those kind of quotas within the government medical colleges so if you're an unreserved can candidate then you're essentially dealing with of the 50, 59,000, 60,000 seats that you have, you're, dealing, you're competing for about 30,000 seats. Give or take a few. Right? So, all the 21 lakh students, the first ambition, goal and aspiration is to be a part of this 30,000 seats that are here. Or, and if you're an OBC, and that 15,000 and so on and so forth. Everyone is competing for that. If you, if you still don't get a good rank, you fall for these ones. Because every student, if you look at the cutoff of AIMS or BHU or anything, you'll realize that the cutoff is right up there. And that is what it tells you that all the students, the first priority and preference always seems to be the aims and some of the best medical colleges that you have in the state quota in the country. So essentially we're dealing at about 50-50% in terms of the number of seats that you have. Though 
If you look at it closely, the private medical colleges are lesser in number, the seats in private medical colleges are more because of which it becomes 50 and 50 percent. If you now look at the government medical colleges, because we talked of, if you look at it, we talked of about 427 government medical colleges. If you look at that 427 and then break them into, into some kind of number, you actually have AIMS, which are also called the INIs. We have 20 of them with about 2069 seats. And most people compete for this. They are also called INIs. INIs is institutions of national importance, which means the government of India acknowledged that all aims are extremely important for the importance of India, importance of the nation. So they call them INIs. All the IITs are INIs, all the IMs are INIs, all the aims are now INIs and so on and so forth, right? So all 20 aims are INIs and they have 2069 seats. Then you have BHU about 100 seats, AMU about 150 seats, JIPMAR about 200 seats and then the other state government medical colleges because in most states the state governments also have set up a lot of medical colleges and all the state government medical colleges put together is 404 which have about 57,000 seats. These are the bulk of the seats that you are competing for. In all as we said 427 medical colleges having about 59,849 seats. So this is where the biggest amount of competition actually happens. Now, how does the NEET counselling work? That's important for you to know, right? One, you have All India Counselling, which happens through the Medical Counselling Committee, MCC's Medical Counselling Committee. And then you have the state quota, where at, at a state level, if you belong to Uttar Pradesh, the Uttar Pradesh state quota will kick in, and you have to go through the state quota counselling, right? Andhra will go through, Andhra, Telangana will go, go to Telangana. So all the states have their own state counselling because they have set up co uh, medical colleges. They also have state private medical colleges, which are aligned to the state uh, you know, uh, legislature. So all this medical college which are established under the state act, report into the state through the state counselling and that's how it works. And the, But you also have the All India Quota. What is the All India Quota? 15% of the seats of medical and dental college all over the country are through the All India Counselling. We call it All India Counselling AIQ. We call it All India Quota AIQ, right? Now this is called AIQ, right? Then JIPMAR, AIMS and all central universities which have a medical college also go through AIQ, 50, right? All, not just 15%, the entire one. All deemed universities go through All India Counselling. So all the deemed universities, every single deemed university goes through the All India Counselling because they don't come under the state act. So they don't go through state counselling at all. Then you have the ESIC colleges and BSc nursing and about 8 central institutes also use the NEET score to determine ad admission into the eight nursing institutions that you have. And then of course AFMC where only registration, the counselling is separated out but your NEED score is used for registration purposes to go through a counselling which AFMC itself conducts. So this is where you have all in the counselling of the things. Now the state quota, all the 85% government medical colleges go through, so you have 15% being given to all India quota and then you have 85% which is the balance coming to the state quota. Then you have all the state government medical aided colleges and the private medical colleges which are set up under the state act. So essentially if you look at it, all the colleges, medical colleges which are set up by the state or which are set up by private people under the state act are all going through the state quota. So you have all India quota and you have the state quota. And this is the counseling process, you have all India counseling and you have the state quota counseling, both are separate. You can also apply here and you can also come here. But remember, the common rank is the NEET rank. So NEET is the determined score and rank that will tell you how you can go through it and which under which quota you'll get in. But state quota uh, counselling is different and the All India counselling is different. Now within the uh, All India counselling, how many seats are there? Right. When you look at that data, the number of participating institutions is about 492 this year. And for BDS, about 95. Of which the All India quota, which is the 15%, uh, you remember we talked about, that is 7,903 seats. The All India quota seats of 15% lead to 7,903 seats. Then you have central universities, about 1,015 seats. Deemed universities, all deemed universities come through this, that is 9,103 and 1,237. Both are deemed. Right. Now, NRI quota has a different fee structure as compared to a, a you know, non-NRI quota, but deemed university is extremely expensive, you must know that. 
Then you have Jain minority, which is 106 seats. Muslim minority, 140 seats. ESIC 467 seats, JIP Mart 243, of which All India Quota is 179, and Internal Quota, which is meant within the forces, is 64. And AIMS, all AIMS go through the All India Council, MCC through All India Counseling. So, in all, you actually are dealing with 22,341 seats, which are going through All India Counseling through the MCC, which is Medical Counseling Committee. And for BDS, that's another number, about 3,869 are BDS. But this is the big number that most of you are competing for through the All India Quota. The state quota is different, state counselling is different and there is a great possibility that you will get into a state government medical college there also at a lesser rank. But at this point in time, what we are confining ourselves to is the All India Quota seats and the kind of rank that you must get in to get into the All India Quota. Now, what do we have here? What is the admission process? Right. As we discussed earlier, AIMS, BHU, AMU, JIPMAR, GMCs, which is Government Medical College, 15% quota and DIM universities. All go through the MCC, which is Medical Counseling Committee, All India Counseling. And then the, all the Government Medical College are under the State Act. And the private college, which come under the state quota, 85% seats, will go through the state counseling of respective states, which is what we discussed earlier. Now, for any one of you who is still confused, please reach out to us. We are here to help you. Here to handhold you to ensure that you get into the best college possible is assuming you have the merit we don't represent any college we're not agent for any college we are here to help you get into the best medical college that is possible based on your score rank ability financial ability you know geographical uh, limitations and whatever you have based on your rank based on your score is what we're going to help you and for that now write to us go to career 360 and you know, look out for, uh, you know, register with us, your name, mail ID, phone number and domestic state. One of our counselors will call you up, talk to them and they'll be able to help you completely. For that, you just visit careers360.com and go to our medical domain and you will be able to see one of these registration forms. Go through that and for us, it's more important that we help you get into the best college possible. Right. Now, what is it that last year happened? When you look at last year, the AIMS, 20 college, 2,600 seats we talked of, the last of the rank or the highest rank that could get into any of the AIMS is at a closing rank of 8,765. So if you want to study at AIMS, and remember there were 2,069 seats in AIMS, but the last rank in general quota was 8,765, earlier it was 6,806. So unless you got about less than 9,000 rank, you still you don't have a chance of getting into any of the aims in the country and that is very important for you to understand now at what score you'll get this 9000 rank is an independent question because this time around the scores would and versus rank would change dramatically because of the kind of paper that have come in because of the kind of examination that was set this time around by nta it is very difficult very lengthy very time consuming and time management became an issue and it, people who were only into memory based learning actually will fall apart in this particular examination Having said that, unless you get 9000 rank and below, you don't have a chance of getting into any of the aims. Right. Now, what is the medical counseling committee? Uh, you know, how does it work? You first register once the score comes in. Then you do choice filling, which is you first create preferences for yourself and prioritize in terms of the order. If the order is wrong, even if you create a preference of 10, your order of those 10 should also be very, very clear. And once you fill in, at some point in time, you need to lock it. Because once you lock it, it's over and done. Assuming a seat comes in for your first preference or second preference, you're out of the counseling because you got what you wanted based on your preference, your priority, and you need to lock, you already locked in that preference and priority. So, as a counselor, I can tell you, a lot of parents and students make a mistake here. They make wrong preferences, and more importantly, they make wrong priorities. What is the most important thing for you if you rank it, you know, you in the preference list, you make it fifth. But what is less important for you, you make it first and you get it, then you're out of the counseling process. So it's very important for you to understand how, what is the preference that you have and also rank it in the order of priority. And for this, again, if you still are confused, reach out to us. We are counselors. We are here to help you and we'll help you prioritize the whole thing also. And because we'll tell you what is a good college, what's a bad college. As I keep telling you, we don't represent anyone. We only represent you, the student. Right. Once you lock the choices, the schedule this time around is in round one, it is in July 25. Right. Round two is August 25. Round three is August, September 25. And still, if there are still more seats vacant, then you actually have a stray vacancy round, which happens in September 25. So by end of September, based on the score that you get, 
you will be done and dusted in terms of whether you got it, you did not get it. And you can actually go through that entire process on a career360.com website also. Now, what are the dates like that you will be looking at? June 4th, you should be expecting the result. May 4th, the examination happened. June 4th, you will be expecting the result. Right? The counseling registration starts in July. Because once you get the score, the counseling registration happens. My request is, suggestion is right now, if start talking to your counselor. If you start talking to your counselor, they'll have more time to spend with you and explain to you and make you understand. If you do it in the month of July, a lot of crowd will be there. So the time that will spend to explain to you or have a good conversation with a good counselor would be much lesser. So if you want to do it now, if you want to get counseled, talk to the counselor now. Right? Now, July 25, the MCC counseling registration starts. Round 1 seat allotment is July. And as I told you, round 2, round 3 and the stay round all is done by September 2025. Now, admission process for state counseling of respective states would be different and that you must be looking at the respective states. There also, we have data, I am not presenting it here because 30 states, so what can, how much can I present at this point in time. But you talk to a counselor or you come to our website, we will exactly tell you for each state how the counseling is happening and what you must be looking for. If any one of you have not used this tool, please use this. It is very important for you and it will tell you at what score, what rank you will get and at what rank, which college you will get. What we did here is, it's an algorithm based thing which essentially converts a score into a rank and it will also tell you whether which college you are likely to get because this is essentially college predictor. It had factored in at what rank, which college, which seat came in, in which, which uh, you know, either A through or AIQ or through the state counselling. And that is essentially what this rank, neat rank predictor 2020 is concerned. It is, it says, know your All India rank for India's single window UG medical exam. Get a personalized report with the overall NEET 2025 rank along with the expected percentile. With the trust of more, and by the way, about 4-5 lakh students have used this tool over the previous years. So it's much more perfected, much more, you know, data driven, much more robust. And it will give you a more better indication of, of where you're likely to land up in terms of the medical college right so use this neat rank predictor 2025 go to careers360.com or search for career 360 and neat rank predictor and you'll get this then we have a college predictor the first one is a rank predictor which converts a score into a rank the second one converts your rank into which college you'll get into what it does is it predicts your admission chances first of all it's a neat college predictor predict top mbbs and bds colleges Know the chances of your admission into the top medical and dental college in India based on your NEET 2025 score. Right? It gets detailed report of top MBBS and BDS colleges for 15% All India quota and 85% state quotas. You actually have all the products working at the same time. All India quota is separate and state quota se state is, would be separate. Already served career services college predictor for more than many lakh students have used this tool. So use this tool again to understand what are your chances of getting into a good medical college either through the All India quota or through the state quota. You still have any doubts, I keep saying this, it is important for you to talk to a counsellor, either talk to us or you talk to anyone that you know, but talk to a counsellor because what at least they will tell you is at which rank, what score, where you like to land up in. It is for you to decide where you want to go in by the way. But it's more important for you to understand what are the options that you have. Because MBBS is a very tough course, it's a very expensive course, and it's a very difficult course. And it's more importantly, it's the most competitive course. With 21 lakh students taking for about 30, 40,000 seats, you know how competitive it is. So it is for, for you to understand how important it is and then deal with this whole thing. Thank you so much. If you have any doubts, talk to me, talk to us, write to us, and we will be more than happy to help you out. Because our ambition, our goal, our aspiration to ensure is to ensure that you get into the best college possible. Thanks so much.